Hey good people, Batavia here. We're in the front yard garden and we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. See you in a few. Okie doke, so quick housekeeping items. Thank yous to those who like, watch, comment, share, and subscribe to Be Better Garden. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. And if you do, there's a button below. You can hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted each time I share more hashtag garden joy. All right, so last time we were together, we walked through the backyard garden. We'll link that video if you're interested. Today, we're just gonna take a look at what's going on in the front yard garden, what we need to harvest, what we need to try to maintain. And uh, yeah, let's dig in. So I have some squash here that's not ready to harvest, but we're keeping an eye on this plant especially because it's starting to show powdery mildew, which is interesting because there's no airflow issue here. This plant is all by its lonesome. Well, there's one more right there, but it's just that time of year for us. Um, the zucchini doing the same thing. Um, so keeping an eye on that. Probably going to pull, and I've been saying this for a few days now, this cucumber plant, it hasn't produced a lot. And it's just struggling. You can see the color, the difference in the leaves from this plant compared to this one. We see some yellow spots. Uh, and I have plenty of cucumbers that I've already harvested. And then some more that I have on plants now. Uh, over here, we're looking for the color red <laughs> because a lot of these uh, peppers will ultimately turn red if we allow them. Uh, so we have some jalapenos that we'll be harvesting. You can see them down there. They've already started to cork. Um, we'll probably have the first set of candy jalapenos out of that. Uh, so they have started to ripen. Um, you can see their size there. Sweet banana we'll be pulling off. You know, a lot of folks eat those yellow, which is totally fine. I like to let some of them go red. Down here, we're still waiting on some things to fully mature. So let's see, we planted these as transplants that were uber small, May the 23rd. A May, June, July, August. So we're almost three months in. And so I just count that up to see this is how long it takes for these bell peppers. In this instance, the King of the North, to start to change colors. Uh, so that's like three solid months. Um, other peppers here still look green, don't show any signs of struggling. So we'll move on. Um, my marigolds, well, I mean, maybe deadheading a couple but we'll add that to the longer list of things to do um, but they're doing really well the green zebra has become a monster of a plant and i have had to tie it up in all kinds of ways but we're keeping an eye out for the fruit when it starts to turn kind of yellowish orange and it hasn't done that uh, so that's a sign of it being mature um, or ripening. So our okra is doing the job that we wanted it to do. We wanted to produce okra, but we wanted to get so tall where I could harvest from off the porch and it's getting close. Uh, so I am getting a couple of the Louisiana velvet um, okra off of it a day. The production isn't as high as I have experienced in the past with just other types of okra. Um, I have green beans that I actually forgot about for a few days. So some of them have gotten pretty big. I like them a little bit smaller. Our forward hook chard, which is huge. Um, we may pull a couple of those leaves off. Um, the giant um, jalapeno. We'll definitely pull some of these off for our candy jalapenos. Uh, some green, some that are turning red. So in this bed, we don't have much to harvest because I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with these peppers. Um, but we do have more jalapenos back here that have absolutely got to the point where they're ready. Um, I'll also pull a bunch of green ones off the plants as well. Uh, then we have our purple bell peppers. So a couple of them we do have. Let's see if we can get in there. So this is probably the size this is going to get. And it's, I think, ready. It's still firm. Maybe it could get a little bit more color on it. Um, a good example is this one that still has some green shoulders. So, I mean, you could harvest these at any point um, based on what I have, what I'm cooking. I think I'm going to leave these a little bit longer. Uh, there's that four hook chart again, just completely laying over. Minimally, we'll come in and get these leaves, poor things. <laughs> um, back here, I'm really just keeping an eye on the health of the sweet potato plants. Um, we'll come back around to the back side. 
inside we have cucumbers and melons that have held their own so my cucumbers i should have pulled these a couple of days ago as far as just harvesting some of the cucumbers but i'll be doing um refrigerator pickles so i'm a little bit more kind of liberal when it comes to how large they get um, if I were canning these, like water bath canning them, I would have gotten them when they were much more in their prime, uh, smaller for this particular variety. And uh, with the idea of that, you know, the better quality, the better it will hold when it comes to preserving. So my melons are doing okay. We have one that we definitely are gonna harvest this weekend. Not only has the tendril that we look out for to turn brown, turn brown, the stem has as well. So we'll cut this down and see what it's like inside. This is the uh, moon and stars. And so I'm keeping an eye on the other one, which looks still good. I have had some things like I need to cut out this. Uh, just didn't make it. It looks like blossom in rot to me. Um, so I'm gonna cut that off. I just don't wanna invite critters here. I just haven't gotten around to it. But that's what the garden walks are for. Kinda see what you need to do and when you need to do it. Um, so on this bed, the peppers aren't as ripe as the other side, um, but we definitely have tomatoes to harvest. So these, like basically the last time I showed you all, all of the Cherokee purple were green. Now they're turning colors. So I've been harvesting those, which are really enjoyable. Um, I have some other peppers that we'll harvest, like the sugar rib down here. Definitely, this is the part of the season I like because your eye tells you what you need to do. <laughs> so again, if it's red, I'm coming in and getting it. We have uh, eggplants we wanna check on. So the Ichiban eggplant, we'll pull a few of these off. Um, yeah, these are definitely ready. And we have some beans back here too. Um, and then, this okra plant has continued to again just produce pretty slowly so we're getting a couple of pieces of okra you know in a dish which um okra production for me either goes like way too much or not enough can't quite get that right sunflower is doing great um we still have plenty of green leaves on our potatoes over here so uh, we still have some days on those i haven't dug in to see if i can get any new potatoes mainly because I have potatoes, but also because it's kind of inconvenient to get over there. Uh, my cucumbelons are actually starting to produce. Remember, these are volunteers. Didn't plant any of them this year, but here they are. Alrighty, so thanks for spending some time with me. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them below, and I shall see you all in the next one.